Hey everyone! So today we're doing an 8x20 uh, flip and drag and we're going to be using some of our new Parage Posse paints and see what we can make from those. Um, my colors today are going to be Creative Inspirations Lamp Black and this is the Deco Art 24 karat gold. I have just uh, enough there to do the flip and drag. It's going to be my accent color. Uh, this is the Deep Lagoon Shimmer. And this is the Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Shimmer. So I think these colors will come out pretty cool. So I already sprayed my cup with the WD-40 silicone spray. And I'm going to rub it in because I don't need any additional silicone in there. I just rub it in so all the paint releases and falls to the bottom when we flip it. Let me wipe my hand off real quick. All right, so we're gonna start with a little bit of black. And our gold, let me get it all to one side here. So my rule of thumb is never to go past my pinky when I'm filling my cup for a flip and drag. So that would be putting my pinky at the bottom of the cup and never going above that. Otherwise you have too much paint. So we're going to put the Deep Lagoon in and the Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. And I do want to give that just a tiny swirl just to marry those colors together a little bit. You can see inside the cup. I'm going to pop that right here in the middle. You can do it on the end or that end and work your way across. I like to go one way and come back and that way I can pick up color and place it where I want it. So these paints are available through our Facebook page. Um, I custom mix all of them and I also have them in jars as straight pigment that are not pre-mixed so you can mix them yourselves. Um, the bottles you can get them with or without silicone and of course buyer pay shipping so come in and check that out if you aren't a member yet go ahead and join just answer a few questions to get in we have about we're close to 3,000 members right now so and we just started last year so we're doing pretty good great place to hang out and show your paintings and share your channel and learn some things if you're new so I went ahead and popped my hole just so I could get my cup to glide on top of this canvas and I'm gonna go back in and get that paint there and bring it down I like to get all the color off the edge of my cup come in and grab some white and I'm gonna grab from here So I have gold on both ends. I think I'm pretty happy with that right there. This is really cool what's going on here. So I'm going to get just a little torch and then we're going to stretch it. So let's see where we're going here. I really like to push my limits with the uh, color. I don't like to waste paint. Um, if you see me do a video and I have a ton of runoff, it's not going to waste. We pick it up for skins, for jewelry. So I'm going to drop my edge and let this roll just a little bit. bring this back down here so I'm good with it there I have a lot of black here but there's gold underneath let's see if I can bring that up but I brought up some green brought up 
few cells there. I don't normally torch before I airbrush because usually the airbrush fixes everything. Here we go. Alright, so this is a master airbrush that's in my Amazon shop. If you're interested in getting one, just follow the links below. And subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, join us for all of our videos. We are live every Monday night at 9 p.m. right here on this channel. That's Eastern Time. Come hang out with us, ask questions. That's pretty cool. I don't want to touch that. I'm just moving it out just a little bit more. I like a nice wispy edge. I'm just catching the very edge of the paint. I don't want to go in and muddle anything because when you start muddying your colors up, it makes your edge not as pretty. See this way, I'll show you this in a second. This has um, turquoise on the outside edge of that, which makes it really super pretty. This is kind of interesting, so I'm not sure where I want to go with this yet. Let's see. I do want to get the edge, though. Let me see if I can bring some of this green in there, or pull up that gold at least. reveal some more gold. This is cool. Don't want to touch it. There's a lot of cool edges here. Sometimes they don't want to move, <laughs> like right there. You have to go in and show it who's boss. That black is so black. Let's see if I can just put just a couple of drops of gold in here. So I can go in and move it. Okay, let's see what we can do there. I'm going to push it down into the paint first. And then I'll move it. That's better. much cool stuff going on in this painting. <clears throat> this definitely is a cool painting. So let me show you this end first. All that prettiness right there. And then we just did some pushing out there. Um, this is where I push the gold in. That's going to dry totally different. But this end here right here. Isn't that cool? See, so yeah, I'm really digging this one. Definitely loving the colors. Loving the shimmer through here with the gold and the uh, Deep Lagoon. Uh, the turquoise, we won't notice any shimmer until it dries. It's such a light color. And it's not a big um, deep shimmer either. It's just that wispiness of color. And that's what I wanted when I started mixing these paints. I wanted something, instead of uh, a dull finish, I wanted um, a little bit of shimmer so that if you're going to resin your paintings, you're going to see it even more. So um, check out everything below. Subscribe while you're here. And um, I want to push this out right here because I just keep looking at it in the camera. I think I'll either push it back or whatever. And um, check out all those links below for Stone Code and Amazon and Etsy and 
We have so many down there. This is that one dot of color there. Maybe that'll work. It was just a little too far out. There we go. Now I'm even happier. <laughs> but thanks so much for watching, guys. See you on the next one. Bye now.